and then if it doesn't get hit, I'll just leave it in. Ah, there we go. play. Oh, it's good to be back. Finally. No, it's good to be back. No, you know, it's good to be back. Even Terror Terror. I don't know. Maybe I should. Just let it go. Man. All right. No, okay, I'm, I'm glad. I had to turn the volume down a little bit in my headphones. I forget how loud. I forget how loud that tends to be. All right, let's make sure volumes are working real quick before we continue. It says it. Howdy do. I am Gamerson, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. It feels weird being. Oh, great. Of course. Anyways, we're finally doing the school mode. Perfect timing. We're finally doing it. It's finally happening. I said I was gonna do it. I didn't forget it. I might have forgotten it. There, okay, there we go. Now when we last played this, the last two times we played this, we did the What If novel. We did a whole reading of that in one video. It was kind of a nice uh, three hour long read, but it was actually pretty good. Then we did the Magical Miracle Magical Girl Monomy mode, where you have to fight the Mono Beast. We did that last year. Now it's time to actually do the Island mode. Dangan Island. Huge panic at the heart-throbbing school trip? Question mark. Yeah. Uh, of course, we're gonna do English, just to, because. If there's any voice acting, we'll let the voices. Case in point, I'm gonna let the voice acting save my throat a little bit of time. I will say, okay, I know it's kind of a bit of a run-on intro here, but if you didn't watch the first game school mode, essentially how this is gonna work, it's kind of like an alternate reality to how the actual main story goes. And we're gonna have certain tasks and stuff if it's like the first one to do. The only way to actually beat this mode proper, and because you guys want to see the Chiaki route, is I have to hang out with everybody that I didn't hang out with in the free time modes in the story in this mode, max them all out, and then afterwards there's a secondary mode like free time-esque mode for whatever character you pick to then level up beyond a bar and then that's how you do their ending while all simultaneously building things and crafting uh things that's how the first game mode went anyways we'll see how this one goes so oh my mouse is Can right you hear here me? no i cannot hear you at all Are you okay? I'm not. I'm. I wouldn't be down here if I was. You seem pretty out of it. I definitely am. You can see the bags under my eyes. Ah, I'm getting exposed. All right. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. Do they? Cause I don't see everyone else laid out around here. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Mm-hmm. Hey, are you listening? I got no choice. I don't understand. Why am I here? That's right, I... I what? I was supposed to be at Hope Speak Academy, but all of a sudden I was at a tropical island for some reason. Oh, that sounds so horrible. <laughs> and afterwards, that's it, I remember now, there were 15 other students, and then... A mysterious self-proclaimed rabbit mascot suddenly appeared. That's right, I remember what that thing said. It said this was a school trip. And because my memories are fuzzy right now, it seems I don't remember my talent. And since I don't know what the heck is going on, I began collecting these things called Hope Fragments. And then... Can you hear me? Hey. Haj... Hajime. Huh? Are you okay? Are you okay? You know who I am, right? I think we, we know. We're not completely new here, this time. 
Oh yeah, you're Nagito, right? Yeah, we know. I'm glad. I'm so relieved. I thought you forgot about me. You don't really forget about Nagito once you go through the game. How mean. You suddenly started staring into space, and no matter what I said, you wouldn't respond. Um, sorry, what happened to the others? I see. Oh, that's right. We need to hurry. Uh... A weird thing suddenly appeared on the monitor and told us to go to Jabberwock Park. Usami and the others are already there. I wonder what's going to happen this time. What's going on? A strange uneasiness filled us as we heard over to Jabberwock Park. Wh where are you? Where are you hiding? <laughs> the boy. He's here already. Hey, hey. Hey, hate that. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> Do it. Do it. The best part of this whole playthrough is right here. I'm letting you know right now. It's him. Mwah. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! And he's gonna take over for me, alright. Long time no see, guys! That is true. Oh, Man. There you are. Wait, Cheerio? Hold on a second. Well, that's different than what happened. Oh, this is gonna scrap immediately. Take this. Oh. My boy! Ouch! Hey you! Don't interrupt me till I'm finished to block! No questions asked. She just jumped him immediately. <laughs> Stop! And now for the coup de grace! Uh, Usami's final splash spark. He just got mugged immediately. Love and justice always wins in the end. Bro, get up. You're embarrassing both of us right now. You don't even know. I can't believe I lost to Usami. You're too noisy. Now that you've learned your lesson, don't ever interfere with this school trip again. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Really? Bro. And so the black and white bear looking thing just hobbled away. That was all of my excitement. All of my excitement in about 20 minutes, and now I'm done. Phew! What? The hell was that just now? Starting to get pumped up. What a heated battle. Just watching it got me pumped up. <laughs> that was an epic performance. You're pretty good, Usami. <laughs> Despite my looks, I'm your teacher. I'm supposed to protect everyone after all. Let me ask. That stick looks like some sort of exquisite blade. Do you intend to kill us with that now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Could it be? Or perhaps you intend to make us all kill each other on this uninhabited island? I see. That might be necessary for our survival. After all, food and water will eventually run scarce here. Oh, uh... That is definitely not gonna happen. No. Though in some ways you need to survive here, your lives aren't in any danger whatsoever. I see. Can you even call that survival? What? Are you stupid? Jeez, what are you guys talking about? There's no way killings are gonna happen. Awesome! She's right, we're on a school trip on a to uh, topical island. If I could speak, consider it a visual novel, it would go a long way in completing this. She's right. We're on a school trip on a tropical island, right? We should make the most of it. <laughs> as long as there's hope, I personally don't mind killing or being killed. Buddy. Nagito, what are you... For now. It, it seems as long as we don't do anything strange, we're not in any danger. Right? Great. Also, we can leave this island as soon as we finish gathering the hope fragments, right? Wrong. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. What? I didn't think you were serious about that. Come on. What is this school trip anyway? What are you trying to make us accomplish on this island? I shall explain. Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Hey! While you all relax in this tropical paradise, must be nice, uh, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with each other. That's the main rule of this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart throbbing school trip. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Love, love. And so this lovey-dovey heart throbbing school trip 
starts right now. Okay, so things might play out differently than the first game. What the hell does that even mean? There's no way I can believe such foolish. Yeah! Love, love. Huh? All right. All right, now that that's decided, let's go swimming. I like that his priorities are uh, straight. I expected something like this would happen, so I took the liberty of wearing my swimsuit under my clothes. Oh, what a coincidence. I did too. Okay. So did I. My loins are always ready to go. I forgot I'm going to have to voice Teru Teru again. <laughs> this is going to be great. Huh, wait, you got... Hold on. Come on. Then it's a race to the ocean. <laughs> Please wait. Engines ready. Uh-huh. Seriously? Hey. YouTube, this is okay, because we've played this game already, and it was okay the last time. A white, sandy beach, crystal clear ocean. High school students enjoying themselves. This feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. I don't have to doubt this at all. And so the curtain to our school trip has been raised. All right, where's the overcast? Oh, we have to watch this again? I'm fine with that. Bah. Bah. Ruined. Better. We're back. There's so many people that if they watch the Danganronpa series, missed all the TTT stuff and everything, and are just finding me back now again, are going to be like, what happened? What happened? What's with this disdain? <laughs> They're not going to know. It's going to be like an inside joke for the people that stayed around. That's trippy. Watching this intro, when you're, let's say, um, sleep deprived, like very sleep deprived, yeah. It's a trip. Man, it's all coming back. I had so much fun. 2020 was a lot of things, but I had a lot of fun playing through the Danganronpa series in 2020. I had a lot of fun doing that, so I am glad we're back, all things considered. I am happy. It doesn't seem like it. It's not written on my face and marker, but it's there. You just have to look. So I wonder if I'll just do that for old times' sake. We used to replace curse words with, like, foods and silly words, and that was kind of fun to do as a challenge. I might do that now. We'll see. After we played to our heart's content, we listened to Asami and returned to the park once again. Keeping it's the inner button. I shall explain. Okay, I should now explain how everyone must spend your time on this long-awaited school trip. You serious? What the heck does that mean? We can't just spend time playing around? Hmm. So we're finally getting to the point. As I recall, you said we had to survive here. What does that mean? That's right! That's right. You have to survive. Everyone's goal is to collect all the hope fragments. So, from this point on, everyone on this island will cooperate and live together for 50 days? I think that's less time than we got in the first... Oh, no. Crap! 50 days? That's a super long time. That's a whole two months. That long? Come on. Who cares about the length? More importantly, what do you mean by cooperate? Ta-da! I mean the class goal. Huh? Class goal? Got it? In order to make everyone get along even more, I'll regularly ask you to work together to make things. Simply put, you guys will work together to create an item that I asked for you. <clears throat> I don't want any trouble. Um. If we can't do it, are we gonna, um, get punished? Yes. Don't be absurd. There's no penalty for failing to make the item. So much more of a peaceful... <laughs> it's so much more of a peaceful existence than the first game, that's for sure. The first school mode. <laughs> In fact, if you achieve your goal, I'll give you something nice. Alrighty! Alright, let's try making an item now. Alright, here's the part where we gotta be like a crafty builder person thing. Now then, the first goal I need you to make is... Ta -da! Right here. A flower pin? What's that? <laughs> it's a hairpin made from pretty flowers. A very lovely... It's very lovely. Words. Love, love. Please make one. You... You say that, but what do we have to do? You are right. You're right. We do not have any sort of materials. Got it? You need to visit various areas of the island and gather the materials. 
Ah, but there's no need to worry. We've already gathered the materials you need for your first goal. Alrighty. Let's try a practice session first. Oh, so they're gonna walk us through in case it's okay. So here you go. A tree vine, a knife. There's gonna be no killings on this island, but we get a knife. All right, and glue. Please make a rope with this. Afterward, she uh, she sell seashell. Yes, green flower, red flower. If you combine this with the rope, you'll be able to create a flower pin. Please bring it to me when you're finished. Try not to get distracted. Okay, have a nice day. Yeah, okay, now it's a bit more familiar. So basically what happens is, this is obviously the practice session, but usually you'll get set tasks for all the characters. You'll set them to go places and do stuff. Then you'll construct stuff when you have items, and then there's other stuff too. So we'll construct. So, uh, we don't have the rope yet, so what we need to do is go over to, I believe, here, make the rope. Now we have the rope. Now we can go back over here, and we can construct the flower pin. Yay! And that's basically, it's going to be a lot more complicated than that, though, but that's basically how the uh, this mode works. Okay, you did very well. I'll give you some tickets. You received five trip tickets. Okay, so this is what I was explaining earlier. There's the free time modes which is in the normal game. That's how you kind of get to learn a character. And then there's trip tickets where you take those characters like on dates, basically. And you get to know more about them, and that's how you complete their routes. So we're doing the Chiaki one, but not yet. You're not getting that this episode because it's going to probably be broken up like the first game into several like 30 to 40 minute episodes. Um, but at least we finally started. Uh, and the thing is... Because we have to hang out with everyone first, and they have to get maxed out first, we might have to actually run through this mode twice, which is why it takes like 15 episodes. I can do this in about 6 or 7, and then we gotta go again, and then on the second trip, hang out like with Chiaki and max that out, and that's how we actually do that. So we'll see how this goes, though. But that's what trip tickets are, if you're new to that. I'll carefully explain how they work later, so make sure you don't throw them away. How is it? Do you understand how to do it now? <laughs> this is too easy. This is not too difficult. We might be able to do this. <laughs> nice work, everyone. Now, please, do your best to gather materials for next time. Hey. Even if you don't do it well at first, you'll get the hang of it with enough practice. However, please don't overwork yourselves. It's also important that you rest if you get tired. Got it? Also, make sure to keep your rooms clean. If they get too dirty, we'll have to do something unpleasant. The main goal of the school trip is to gather all the hope fragments before the time runs out. Please don't forget that. Alrighty. Now then, here's your next class goal. The next goal is... The same thing. This time, please make it by gathering the materials. I'll check in in five days to see if you've finished. Alright. So before we can actually start hanging out with people, this is the full thing, right? So we'll, we'll set tasks, and it'll be like... Um, I know this works. I appreciate the refresher though, but basically you have all your characters on the two tabs You got the, the guys over here the girls over here and what happens is uh, Each of the things you send people to have an effect right now Everyone's in the red which is healthy the little little guy standing next to them. They're they're the full powered on on both of them Everyone's good to go um, That will get weaker when you send them to locations because over there so I can send people to clean, to keep stuff clean. That will drop, you know, by one. Uh, we're looking for like glue, and it'll, it'll kind of tell you what you're looking for by having a little like, uh, I call it like a little flag next to uh, the item you're looking for. So if you go here, you don't need nothing here. Don't send anyone there. Nothing you need is there, it's pointless. We can send people there, we can send people there. And as you do this mode, people will level up. You know, if you have a designated cleaner, for example, they'll get super good at cleaning after a while. So there's a bar at the top, that's how clean the island is, that we need to keep it. Um, they'll be resting. If someone, you know, is getting close to getting exhausted, make them rest, because if they're exhausted, you'll lose them for like five days straight. You need people, all hands on deck. Um, but eventually, like, everyone's at level one, they'll eventually, like, keep their levels, even if you have to redo the mode. So let's say you fail after seven days of playing through different episodes, or seven episodes, you get through the 50 days, you failed something, so you fail the mode. They'll all keep their levels if you go retry again, so if they get to, like, level seven, they'll be level seven even at the beginning, and it makes it easier the second time. You can do it in one go, though. It's just really, really hard. Now that that's basically explained, a lot of this will be visual, it'll be a lot easier to see. So what you do is you get the effects over here. The more arrows, the harder it is at a place to look. 
So uh, seashells will be hard to find here more so than the first place. So I'll send it back up to that area. We begin. Everyone goes out. Ooh. This song reminds me of TTT more than anything else now. <laughs> so then they'll, they'll, they'll auto go. They're, they're, oh, they're busting their chops, all right. They're getting it. We found a lot of items. No one's passed out. Good. Hello. Good job, everyone. Got it? Now you'll have some free time. You can spend that time however you wish, but make sure you gather all the hope fragments within 50 days. That's everyone's goal after all. I apologize for repeating myself so many times, but please try not to forget. Hey. Even if you think it's impossible, please don't give up. I'll make sure to do something if you can definitely accomplish it one day. <laughs> Don't worry. Just talk to everyone a lot and gradually collect all the hope fragments, okay? Hey! Also, if you use one of the trip tickets I gave you earlier, you can go somewhere and play. You can shoot for the love love outcome, but you can also but you also won't be able to gather hope fragments, so be careful. And that's why it can take longer than one playthrough, because you gotta decide. If everyone's not maxed out yet, and you try and go on these dates with people, you might like go into your time you had to actually max people out. <laughs> when you achieve the class goal, I'll give you these trip tickets, okay? Alrighty! Let's give it everything we've got. My boy. I'm terribly sorry, but do you have a second? No. The milkman is shy. I don't have a second. As Usami has explained just now, the milkman's being shy in his room. You silly cow. <laughs> As Usami has explained just now, you can now spend your free time with whomever you like. However, as you gain hope fragments, you'll notice the scenes are exactly the same as in the main game. So you might notice people talking about having to kill each other. I know that seems strange, but this is island mode after all. It's a bonus in addition to the main story. So please keep that in mind and try not to judge us too harshly. Anyway, take your time exploring and enjoy. That was weird. What would you like to do? So you always want to go meet with somebody. That's what you always want to do. Always go meet with somebody. Who should I talk to? And then we got to go find somebody. Now we're back in the gameplay mode where we actually have gameplay. If you want the Chiaki route, it means I have to do Chiaki last. And I'm not making this like a three hour video, by the way. This is only going to be like, we're going to cut it off after a bit. Um, and we'll break this up episodically. It, we're starting today. And we'll just keep it going for however long and also that way you guys can get a chance to get feedback and like comment and stuff in between stuff. Oh no! Oh, oh, get get out, get out. There we go. You're still alive! Let's go! You want some water? You want you want you want some of this? Here. Yeah, there you go. We take those. We take those. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna hang out with someone that we didn't hang out with a lot in the main game, in our main playthrough. We're gonna hang out with the boy. You know who the boy is. The boy. There he is. What would you like to do with Gundam? Spend time together. Okay, so there's a difference. Free time stuff, if you still need to do your free time stuff, spend time together. If you're done with that, like when we do that stuff later, that's when you use a trip ticket. Or nothing, never mind. We're gonna spend time together. Let's learn a bit more about Gundam Tanaka. The boy. Let's make history. Yep. My. I missed, I missed all of this. I missed all of this. Now then. It's time for me to make my next move. Even I can be bored to death. Fine. So, are you gonna entertain me, fiend? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna try. I spent time with Gundam today, quizzing each other about animals. Okay. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Yeah, that's the idea. What would you like to give him? I forgot. Yeah, we already have some... Man, I hate that. I hate that. Hey, we're friends now. Give me your underwear. 
Because we're friends, I should have your panties. Man. I got sunflower seeds for the, uh, for the, uh, Dark Davis. There we go. You fiend. Hajime, you fiend. <laughs> you are rather nice. Be happy! As long as this treasure is within my grasp, I will never forget this day. Let me tell you <clears throat> this. I wish I could say I'm trying to do an impression, but apparently I just did not warm my throat up enough for all this reading, so it actually kind of hurts. <laughs> Hold it. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. How just as I thought. You know nothing. You will know true terror if you look down on them just because you they fit in your palm. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Fall, my tears. Today's fight started when San D got greedy and encroached upon Jump P's territory. Jump P was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champ P. Listen well. I was able to quell their range by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be that easy next time. I see. That's troubling. Could that be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Let me ask. By the way, do you know which species of my four Dark Davis of Destruction has the largest body? I mean, which species of hamster? Um... Oh, heck, even I don't know this. It says I don't know what that is, and it could be right, but we're gonna go Golden Hamster. Golden Hamsters are the biggest species, right? It was close. Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. It appears you can- But only see. Goldens know fear. Thus, they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they... The only saying they happens... You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people. This too That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels when you're breeding them. I certainly didn't know that. Nature, However, collective will that isn't the, the only world. feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. This body is uncooperative. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur and hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. How foolish of me! But now, all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and the child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You're probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research until the synthesis of demon into the synthesis of demon beast. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious atrocious experiments. I shall Beyond that, I already made arrangements to leave my demon beast to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. What do you yearn for? What dang. That's a good question. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. How pitiful. Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Remember well. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep affection Gundam feels towards all animals, not just hamsters. <laughs> Gundam's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. After seeing Gundam wallowing in sadness, I left the area. Everyone, it's night time. Please get plenty of rest so you can do your very best again tomorrow. Good night. Okay, so now the island's a whole third dirtier, so I gotta start assigning cleaners. If I'm participating, I'll give it my all. I must take care of my basic mental fortitude. Peko seems to be feeling pretty good today, so sometimes some characters will just be really fired up and they'll do like double the work when you go to do the work stuff. It's great. <laughs> Ooh, Jabba Juice. Hey, okay, have a nice day. There's personal effect tab, I'll show this real quick too. So you can use this to kind of replenish somebody. So like, Peko's fired up. But let's say we wanted a Kane 
to be fired up again. We can give that one to, to Akane, and then let's say we go, since Peko's fired up, it's a it's three to four, we'll give uh, Teru Teru this one. Uh, and there's other effects throughout here too. Uh, we don't got that yet. And there's the handbook, this is just the, you know, handbook, the, the usual stuff. You can keep progress of stuff, you can save stuff, all good. So, construct. Let's see if we can construct any of the things we need, right? Can we construct the rope yet? No, we still need tree vines. So when we go out, we can focus everyone on tree vines, and that work. We still need a green flower, and we need one more red flower. We got no green flowers, and we need more red flowers. Um, but if we want to construct the rope, focus tree vines. So tree vines, we got seashells for days, green flower, red flower, got that going, go set task. This is actually a bop, all right? I don't see any tree vines, I see green flowers though. We've gotten some green flowers. Need a bit more than that though. Need a bit more than that though. Need a bit more than that though. Come on, tree vines. I sent like 17 of you off to tree vines. Oh no. Oh no. I don't see tree vines in there. Man, we did get like five green flowers though. That's good. Not the greatest, but it's good. What's up, the boy? The man? The myth? The legend? Oh, this sounds this sounds like tell me this doesn't sound like Gundam. Earring of crushed evil. You fiend. Yeah. Just <laughs> Be happy! I can see it! Don't get any closer. I already know what you're thinking. But do you know that even I don't know? So you now then appeared. summon your familiar. Uh no, I don't have anything like that. You fiend. You've come challenging me many times. I thought you finally obtained at least one familiar. <laughs> just as I thought you were just a mere human, and a strange one at that. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? How pitiful. However, if you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. Fine. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forests. There may be even rare species that only exist in this island. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tingle. There's so many cursed lines I'm gonna have to read reading through this. I man, alone too. He's smiling right now. I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. Let me tell you I'm not this. interested in some domesticated animal. You silly cow. I had a feeling you'd say that. Fall, my tears. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity, huh? That's a bit unexpected. How Such a creature were born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. It could bring a calamity onto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feeling of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. This body is I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beast. I've tamed various creatures such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. It probably means dogs, birds, and lizards. When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> I guess it's fine to tell a mere human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Listen well. Basically, you must say, good girl, good girl. Huh? You must repeatedly speak to them and make sure they understand that there's no ill will on our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. This, too, must be the will of causality. Of course, there are some who like to be touched and some that don't. It's better if you keep those basics down. It appears Afterwards, you cannot escape. as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. Pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. But Gundam seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow his face seems gentler. Anything but gentle. He must really love animals. Fine. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will row me up on this island somewhere. Monokuma and Monami are sort of shaped like animals. I renounce you! They are, <laughs> they are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. How and most importantly, they aren't cute. I agree. Well, screw both of y'all. Monokuma's the goat. But I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. However, that's a nice line. 
Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we'll be able to understand each other, even if just a little bit at a time. Ah, uh, it's half dirty. Our cleaners. <laughs> Hiyoko is the one that's pumped up. I'm gonna do that twice as much today. Hiyoko seems to be feeling pretty good. Oh, we're not gonna get a lot of materials. Hiyoko's- Hiyoko found the red flower! Never mind. Let's go. Hiyoko and Maharu out there doing work. We got the red flower. And then when we have everyone rest up for the next day, we'll go hard on the on the tree vine. Uh, everybody's gonna be rested up. They can all go after the tree vine together. And then we'll rotate the other squad that didn't rest. They get to rest. And there we go. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Definitely. What would you like to give him? Oh, if only I knew. I still have a bunch of these, so we're just gonna give him more of uh, these. You fiend. Surely I never expected a mere human such as you to possess such a legendary treasure. <laughs> Regardless, you will not be able to control it. It was wise of you to hand it over to me. <laughs> I will gladly use it. You fiend. Hold it. If you come any closer, I know, I know, I won't get close to you. This, too, must be the will of causality. It appears you finally noticed. The blood that flows within me bears a fearsome curse. Of course it does. <laughs> like, Hajime's like, I got it now. I understand. <laughs> Ever since I was young, this body of mine was exposed to so many poisons that it became poisonous itself. If a mere human like you ever touched me, you will immediately decompose and wither away. Thus, I've been trying to make sure you don't get too close to me. Does that mean you've been thinking of me? <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Even if you're just a fool foolish human, I'm not so cruel as to yearn for a meaningless death. Can I assume that he's blushing? But he said his but he says his blood is poison. What would be the advantage of that? Silence. It's not an issue of gains and losses. I became like this because I had to. I had to be like this even if I don't want to be. I've been putting poison in my body ever since I was young. Sounds somewhat plausible. Could it be your mom's awful cooking? You enjoy poison. You're getting ready to poison somebody. Hmm. Doesn't enjoy meaningless death. No one enjoys poison. Wow, your mom's awful cooking. Was it your mom's? Was your mom? Was your mother's cooking bad? Yeah. That seems to be it. I was only joking, but it sounds like that was exactly it. Impossible! You wouldn't understand how much pain I had to endure. Plus, that woman would cry if I didn't finish my plate. What choice did I have but to suffer in silence? What a good son. D don't you feel better now that you've talked about it? I mean, you're actually a really kind guy. It was close. Anyways, now that you understand, you shouldn't come any closer to me. Now that know that if you ever touched me, it would mean death for you. Well, that's really lonesome. Hey Gundam, can I ask you something? Bye. If you have the fortitude, if you have the fortitude to ask me that, I didn't even say anything yet. Um, when you were in grade school, did you ever hold hands with any of the other kids? It's obvious now, but at the time, I was faking my condition. <laughs> By moving next to the teacher who served me, I was able to avoid questions and survive without any problems. Did you have to do a folk dance? Impossible! You don't understand. That is a ceremony for summoning evil deities. Fortunately, the school nurse was in the same tribe as me, so I was able to leave without getting involved. I I see. It might have been bad of me to point out something so unnecessary. I don't know what to say to him anymore. So then, what kind of people are okay to get close to you? Anyone whose power matches my own, or... <laughs> no. There's no way such a being exists. You should just forget about that. For your sake. With those words, Gundam walked away. He seemed very lonely. What was he gonna say? If he just told me, maybe I could have done something about it. And if I had, maybe he wouldn't have shouted nonsense at me. The dirt. The dirt keeps encroaching on our territory. <laughs> Mikan, I feel like I'm gonna be bullied. I feel like I'm not gonna be bullied today. You guys seem to be feeling pretty good. Bring me that tree vine, or I will go to the jungle and just find one myself. What is this? What is this? Tree vine! Thank you! We did it! It's over! Man! 
on only one at that, even though all of y'all are there. Go find Tarzan, like, make a deal with him. You'd be like, oh, I just, Trevine, yo, what up? He doesn't seem like his usual self. Why do you keep following me? In truth, there's no way I'd ever associate with someone like you. Impossible! But still, you continue to hound me. Does this mean my absolute mental defenses are wearing off? I don't know what you think this is, but we're friends who are working together to escape. What? But the, he seized up all of a sudden. I won't let you! <laughs> Settle down my wicked arm. You are a Kododama user? You wish to manipulate me with false words and cheap tricks, don't you? I'm not trying to manipulate you at all. In fact, you're the one who said I'm just a mere human with no special abilities whatsoever. You wouldn't understand. I'm in isolation for a reason. There will never be a day when you understand why I became who I am. I'll destroy you! I'm the offspring of an angel and a devil. A cursed being shunned and rejected by everything in this world. Is that a Nephilim? Once I lose the only thing I love, I'm destined to spend my last days being devoured alive by demon beasts. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Truly, I am mankind's natural foe. Evil incarnate. A walking cataclysm. A shapeless insanity. Gundam Tanaka. He sounds like his normal self, but there's definitely something different about him. There might be a kernel of truth hidden in the words he just spoke. It's true. I don't know anything about what drove you to this point, but I definitely believe that you're my friend. If I don't think that, I wouldn't be able to go on. That's it. That's the only reason. As long as you're my friend, I have no desire to take anything away from you and try to force you to change. This, too, must be the will of causality. It seems that, uh, I completely misread you. I never expected a human like you to contain a singularity. Have I been promoted from mere human? You asked me the other day what sort of existence would be capable of touching me. So you the answer appeared. to that is the singularity. A being who can make the impossible possible by overcoming various limitations. Huh? Am I really that amazing? You fiend. Hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself. A simple creature like you does not have that much power. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. Alright, Frieza. However, I can lend you my powers as long as you yearn for them. Then I'll leave this to you. What? For you to say that so easily. Fine. Well, who cares? Lend me your hand. I still got my hand like he told me, and after some hesitation, Gundam slowly gripped my hand. His hand felt like a normal person's hand, and I definitely didn't wither away and die. I'm just kidding. With this, With this the contract oh. is complete. I will not allow you to die without my permission. Let's go. I really didn't want, I really want to say that to him too, but he'll definitely yell at me if I do. Instead, I gripped Gundam's hand so tightly that it started hurting. Yeah. It somehow became a battle of endurance, but I felt a strong bond between me and Gundam, or Gundam and me. Which reminds me, it's been a long time since I felt so happy being acknowledged by somebody. The boy is now completed. Gundam's report card has been updated based on your experiences with him. You just unlocked the ins the skill Un Infinity Unlimited Flame. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. I brought my sunglasses. You've obtained the present. Gundam's undergarment. You can check it in the present menu. We got more underwear. All right. And so it never stops. Gundam spent all day teaching me how to use that ability. By the time I returned to my room, I was exhausted. Dawn of the final day. <laughs> I feel so pumped up that I could probably make like a hundred songs. Ibuki seems to be feeling real good. Alright, so here's the thing. We have the vine. So we can go like this. We got that. Constructed. We did it. We did it. Now, what I tend to do, since we have it constructed now, everyone feels alright actually. Everyone's actually raring to go. So I don't want to down everybody um, ahead of time. So what I'll do is I'll split things up. I'll leave some people on cleaning duty and everyone else can just chill. On to Electric Avenue and then we'll take it higher. Huh. Password. I have to say it. The song demands that I say it. 
There, I said it. I said password. What would you like to do? So now we can go spend time with, like, someone else, actually, as a matter of fact. And we might, like, Gundam's complete. Now, if I use the trip tickets, we could go on, like, a whole different Gundam adventure. Y'all wanted the Chiaki route. So we'll get to Chiaki. Not now, though. Oh, let's go Table Flip's favorite character. Oh, it's like to do with Nagito. We'll spend time with Nagito. <laughs> you must be really bored to actually come talk to me. Well, yep. It's fine. Let's just walk around the island together like before. I spent time with Nagito today exploring the island. I guess Nagito and I, I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Nagito a present? Yeah. We have three of Mukuro's knives. Why do we have three of Mukuro's knives? And why not we give Nagito one? <laughs> Is this really okay to accept this? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. This is exciting! Just thinking about the bad luck that's waiting for me is making me feel all tingly. What? Hajime, are you feeling sick? No, not at all. Nope. I see. Then it's okay. I thought you looked pale or something. I thought something was worrying you. Ah, but it'd be weird if you weren't worrying in a situation like this. Nagito is laughing in a carefree way, but seeing him laugh like that was enough to distract me from my worries. Huh? What? Is something wrong? No. How should I put it? I was just thinking about all the ways you've been helping me so far. Thank you. Wow. No, no, I haven't done anything to receive your thanks, but for someone like me to be useful to you and to even receive your words of gratitude makes me happy. You're being too hard on yourself. I mean, my talent is just having good luck. It's not like it comes from hard work. It's not like I can use it to do anything amazing. Regardless of how lucky I am or if that luck even exists, I'm just too unimpressive to truly matter. Not like you guys. Why do you sound so happy about that? It's possible that my talent might be more meaningless than yours, you know. I mean, I can't even remember what it was. There's no mistake. That's not true. I'm sure you have an amazing talent. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't even have accepted, been accepted into Hopesick Academy. Somehow, when I see the way Nagito doesn't doubt me at all, I start to believe he's right. He really does help me in so many ways. Hey. I know. If you'd like, let me help you remember. Let's see. A talent that suits Hajime. I see. What about the ultimate sin, uh, scenario? Sin, I can never pronounce this word. Swear... Serenity. Serenity. It always takes me like 17 times to say serenity. Which part of me... Which part of me did you look at to come up with that title? Is that even a useful ability? I'm pretty sure the ability to bring serenity to others is just by just being there is really amazing. Let's see. <laughs> what about the ultimate clumsy student? Well, considering that I suddenly forgot my talent, that might be fairly accurate. What about the ultimate scatterbrain? Okay, don't go that far. I just want an ultimate talent like... Wow. Don't take it seriously. That was just a little joke. Hmm. <laughs> How about the ultimate spiky hair? That's not an ability at all. I know, right? Right. But it's going to be fine. I'm positive you have a talent that's brimming with hope. Jeez, he's totally messing with me. But thanks to him, my feelings are lighter than they ever were. Could it be that was his goal all along? If so, maybe he's a good person after all. Well, I guess it's too early to say. I need to get to know him better from now on. I hope we get to understand each other better, even if just a little bit at a time. Nagito's report card has been updated. And now, the first day is complete. I was completely exhausted from hanging with Nagito all day, so I returned to my room. Alright, this is this is the day where we gotta turn in the thing. So today's the day, huh? I guess I better review everything one more time. The goal was one flower pin. Yay! You did very well. Okay. Here's some tickets. You received eight trip tickets. Yo, we bought it. To... Sorry to interrupt again. You silly cow. How did your first class goal go? If you found it difficult, I have some good news for you. This mode has its very own new game plus cycle. Your only your collection level and cleaning level carry over, but you'll be able to take another shot at it. I explained this earlier. Success is possible in a single playthrough. Maybe you can set the challenge someday. It's possible in a single playthrough, but that's why they do that. The next goal is right here two Engines gorgeous ready. flower pins huh i'm i feel different today i'm all fired up because just seems to be feeling pretty good so one of the nice things as you construct stuff and as you search people out there'll be certain things you already have like i already have gold and silver um i need white flowers black flowers and i need to get an, another thing for rope um 
We got some stuff down here too that we'll be able to create later as well. So that's why you kind of always want to send people out even when you got all your items. It helps a bit. Um, but I'm going to save it and we're going to end the video there for part one of finally doing Chiaki out in the wild, wild west. Now, uncoincidentally, I'm starting this series and we're going to be going to this series throughout September and probably October depending on uh, other videos that I want to put up. So this will also come across several people's birthdays depending on how this goes. And that was kind of planned on purpose. So that was uh, a nice timing, actually, despite how long it's taken me to get to this. So by the time this first episode goes up, it will be Lucy's birthday. So happy birthday to Lucy. And then we got like Gamo, Graphic, Digi, Lote even coming up. We got a couple birthdays coming up. It's going to be fun to do stuff. Um, but that's the first episode for this. We'll see how this goes. You get an idea of what the mode's like. We haven't done trip ticket stuff yet. We'll save that for when I at least get most of the way through the first playthrough in case you're kind of curious. Um, but that ought to be fun. So, with that being said, again, uh, make sure to go go wish people have a birthday in the comments down below. But also, in general, have a good day. Uh, this will be fun. I'm glad to be back in the dang it Rampa. Yeah, we're finally we're finally making good on promises that we've said that we were gonna do on the channel. That feels good. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I don't know which video will be next. We're just gonna have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.